Well, Le Mans Ultimate, the somewhat controversial title released into early access a week ago. Let's go over how it's been the last week, the ups, downs, and why I personally think it's been a great initial week for the title's early access. So on Tuesday the 20th of February, Le Mans Ultimate went live on Steam and it seems to have been a very popular release even as an early access title. Sim racing YouTube and Twitch live streams were mostly Le Mans Ultimate as all the bigger streamers gave it a go for the first time. The experiences varied from Bailey's oh my god this is amazing doing two plus hour races to this is a complete disaster and I'm going to refund it from Nils who later repurchased, but more on that in a moment. The review system on Steam is of course biased to negative reviews as all review systems are. I mean, why review if you're having a good time, but obviously the human brain will happily review if they're having a bad time. The reviews varied in style, but ultimately it did come down to a good half split of people with valid issues wanting to back out, refund, warning others to wait a little bit before buy-in. And then another bunch of users who still seem to not be able to grasp what early access is and were complaining about the game still being in development. But I guess that's another video for me to make on expectation management or what early access is. So the hours ticked by and slowly the game got some really bad reviews on Steam and tanked the rating of the game. The official Discord was jammed with people having issues, with the good time voices being overwhelmed massively. However, something then happened, I think it's fair to say many didn't expect. With all the MSG drama um, for BTCC, NASCAR, IndyCar and all of that, MSG and Studio 397 were responsive. And I'm not talking about a thank you for your comment, we'll get back to you, but they actually had a bunch of the dev team from various corners of the project actively helping users, logging issues, directing people how they can overcome issues. This was happening across the LMU Discord and the official forums. So the known issues started to rack up, which was great, and they were being actively posted and pushed and talked about by the dev team to help out users. A hotfix was deployed in a timely manner for early access to help fix some of the things within 24 hours of the initial release. And then the next day, another little fix popped up on Steam as well. Uh, so that's 48 hours, two fixes. And then another day went by and another, albeit smaller, little fix popped up on Steam to download. By this point, the Steam reviews had started to turn just a bit. Maybe these fixes were working for some, but there were also a fair few reviews now turning from negative to positive, which must have been great to see from the dev side of things, even if it was literally only days out from release. At this point, I guess I better mention that, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the, in the comments down below. Just, I'd love to hear, how are you getting on? How have you got on with this with this sim, given the 50-50 love-hate relationship start? The special event. Well, I know I certainly wasn't the only one to think this is a bloody brave thing to do, to host a special online event, the Le Mans Ultimate 2.4 hour, within days of the very early access. But they did it anyway, and... Well, like the rest of the game, so far it was a 50-50 thing. The first big split was a total disaster after a great start. Everyone did their practice. Uh, we all did the qualifying. The splits were all sorted. We all started and around, I believe it was around 24 minutes into the race, boom, all of the servers went down. Not just the special event races, but the entire Le Mans Ultimate system falls over for the online element. Turns out it's the server management software had added, has had an issue. A quick fix from the developers is rolled out and the latest split due to start hours later. I think there was something like six hours between the splits. Uh, the later one goes ahead um, and by this time the servers stay up with this fix in place. Just shy of 700 people including a live streaming uh, Jimmy Broadbent and Bailey and just if, I mean, great many of the big streamers were live for this one. 
Um, they were able to live stream a full 2.4 hour race, which was, was pretty cool as, as a viewer to watch. Not bad for early access, even as myself, um, a victim of the first big server issue. Uh, bravo for getting it fixed for the, for the next split though. Sunday was somewhat in reverse with the earlier splits all working fine and many reporting great times among the normal early access issues. And then it was the evening split that encountered some kind of server hiccup. This time the server stayed up, but uh, it's from the from what I gather from the Discord, it seems like a good 60, 75% of people were not able to enter the race. The devs, to my knowledge, are not stating yet what happened with that one, but I believe they have said they've um, they've fixed it. And the um, as an apology, they they ran the uh, special event into into Monday. So early access success. Uh, it's obviously too early to say that this game will be a success, let alone an early access success. But with what has happened in the last week, it is firmly in the camp of being a great sign for early access at the very least. Responsive developers, active user base, already loving aspects of the sim and providing such amazing things as uh, you can see on the screen now. It's looking good and at least for me the checkboxes of successful early access have so far been ticked. Whilst at the same time, it's probably fair to say that every user from those disappointed with outright crashing of the platform to those happy with the sim, I still experience a whole bunch of issues as to be expected uh, with what is a very early access launch. As we progress beyond the initial hype and or disappointment of the, the real big check, check box for me, personally to see will be if within a month, we go from these little hot fixes to the first big update. That's going to be my, my next box to get ticked to get ticked off to measure the progress or success of this project. Um, that the sim is, pardon the pun, on the right track. The platform it, it seems to be very marmite. Like you either love it or you hate it. But I do get the feeling that the love is starting to out, starting to be a bit larger than the hate camp now. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your your day to listen to me chat crap today. Um, and I'll hopefully see you out on track. Just be kind when you pass me, because you know I am slow. See you later, guys.